you guys want to fly into Trill City RP V2, make sure that you guys click the link in the first description or the link in the comment section. The white listing is free. I repeat, white listing is free in Trill City RP. If you want to get a priority application done, that is a paid fee, but the actual white listing applications get checked on the daily basis and they get approved in the manner that they were given. All right. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong. Hello and welcome back to orientation. Today we're going to be going over the dress code for Los Santos Customs. Now at Los Santos Customs, we take pride in letting people know that we are employees and workers for this shop. What tends to happen is a lot of people get confused when they pull up to a mechanic shop and somebody's wearing a BB belt or chains or not even wearing gloves. So here at Los Santos, we want to make sure that people understand that dress code matters. So remember in orientation video number one, I told you guys about the locker room. You can come over here, change your, your clothes, and do whatever you need to do. Now, as far as our men's dress code, our men's dress code is pretty, pretty standard. All right? Pretty straightforward. One-piece jumpsuit. Everything's set up. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. How do I get this outfit? All you got to do is make sure that you guys apply yourself to the emails inside the Discord, and we'll have everything for you in the Los Santos Customs Handbook. Everything's pretty straightforward. We want to make sure that you're wearing the logos. We want to make sure that you're wearing your one piece and definitely gloves for safety. And that rag, it can either be used to wipe oil off your hands or to sweat off your face. It's up to you. If you guys notice, being in uniform while you're working on cars gives you the best advantage to being safe as well as being noticed as someone that is working hard at Los Santos Customs. Even when you come over to the storage room, Walking over to the storage room with that swag, that Los Santos swag, it really matters. Also, for all the females that are in the city in Trill City RP V2, yes, we do have a women's dress code as well. You guys do have uniforms inside the Los Santos Customs Handbook, and I would appreciate it if you guys followed those rules as well. Now, managers and owner, me, we are not obligated to wearing the Los Santos Customs one piece, but we do have to wear the logos when we're on the job. So for all my managers and me, of course, we always make sure that we have logos on us as well so that we're noticed by customers. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, this video was all about our mandatory uniforms inside the LSC handbook. The next video will be talking about clocking in and out and what you need to do to make sure that your time is logged. See you guys in the next one.